welcome back to the channel so today's topic is about the promotion so you know how you can uh, start the promotion of any employee in workday that we are going to learn so promotion it is like a critical process in workday not in just workday but uh, in other uh, erps as well or in other hcm or other hr processes as well so that we will learn today how to uh, you know start the process of the promotion of any employee in workday so we have a lot of employee so let's just say i'll find out some who are they so from hr services department we have these people so from this let's just take maria for the promo so maria she is the director of employee benefits and suppose we want to promote her in and we want to change her position as well from director to any other right so what how we can do that let's see so there is a task a uh, job change that also can be done or else go to employees profile and from that go to this action button and from then again job change and into that you see transfer promotion or job change anything you can choose so as i want to promote her so i'm going to choose this one so when you come to this you'll have to add some effective date so i'm going to take today's effective date because i want to see the changes now why i'm making the changes because i want to promote her so promotion will be my reason then which team will she be uh, you know working with so let's say she might be working with human resources department and her manager automatically whenever i change the uh, organization name who is handling that organization means uh, who is the manager into that organization automatically it will change earlier it was logan mcnil but i uh, the uh, the time i changed the organization name automatically the manager name has been also changed so if you want to change the location as well suppose if you want to move her from san francisco to any other location so that also can be done so up to you so for now i have just changed the department and the manager and i'm clicking on start so openings again uh, do we, do we want to uh, do with some opening left to your team so do we want to do any uh, do you do we have any plan to backfill this position or do we want to overlap that you know so depending upon then what uh, requirement you have according to that you can uh, you know make a changes here uh, this person is manager do you want to move them uh, to their team with their team so yes i want to move them with the team then again if there is any some position with requisition without job requisition so we have executive uh, executive assistant and without position we don't have any position so i'm just taking the existing one currently we have okay or either you can create a direct uh, new position as well for his uh, for her promotion so anything will work and you click on next again if you want to check locations if you want to add any uh, you know details so that also can be done so from san francisco suppose let's say we want it from new york so in new york if we have any building any office you know so that also we can add again if you want to add any weekly hours like 35 40 depending upon so location uh so weekly hours is depending upon the location okay so we uh, whenever we create a location in that we have to add the what will be the weekly default hours 
we have mentioned new york suppose if it is a uh, netherlands in, in netherlands they have 35 hours weekly so that also automatically will be come here so ke always keep in mind this weekly hours is linked with your location whatever location you are mentioning according to that this will refer and then she, work shift if she have any work shift night shift evening night day anything okay so you can select it then details that person is a regular employee or is it a full time if that person is salaried again weekly hours default hours uh, ft percentage okay so these details are also here so again our company details our cost centers regions okay these details are also here so as we are no uh, changing her position so according to that her compensation also will be changed any person's compensation right so that also will reflect so see we changed her uh, you know um, position so according to that position automatically the new uh, compensation detail has been automatically added see the previous has been removed and automatically new has been added okay so suppose if she had uh with the suppose with promotion if if she is getting some more allowances you know extra allowances hra or maybe uh any particular housing allowance <coughs> housing allowances or maybe any car allowances anything so that also can you can add from here let's say car allowances then again go to next so we have removed and we have add the things which we required for the promotions and i think we are good to go so now i am submitting always keep in mind before submitting any process in workday check twice thrice and then submit it okay so now i am going to submit the process so now the process has been submitted and this is under progress always it will be under progress because we have promoted maria and we need some approval of the person right so uh, joy bank the our approval is pending with the joy bank because joy bank is her new uh, manager so whenever joy bank will approve it will be reflect into her worker's history as a successful and if you see maria's profile We see in her workers history so her promotion is started see this is the uh, process we have launched and then uh, this is under progress when joy bank will approve that automatically her promotion will be promotion process will be completed so it is our work to launch the process to start the promotion but approving the process will not be our work whoever will be the proposed manager whoever will be your um, authorized person that person will approve the process and then whole process of the promotion will complete so this is how you can start the promotion of any employee in workday hope this helps thank you